Friends, welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday and this week I'll talk about record shift or latency in Cubase. I figured out that with my with the latest update of Cubase 11 Pro that my uh, recordings were not in time anymore. When I had a singer in my uh, vocal booth you could see that she was singing on time and when I played it back the recording it was shifted. So I had to manually adjust the recordings. I'm gonna show you and I figured out what it was and I want to share that with you. First we're gonna insert some uh, very short audio files like rim shots. There we go. And put them on the four counts. The four beats of one bar. Like this. That's easy. So when I record now, just um, when I record this, you will see the shift. I shall normalize it, so you can see it cl more clear. But you can see very clear. I zoom in a little bit. Maybe it is a bit too much. But you can see very clear. This should be exactly there on the on the count. And you see it's shifted. So what happens when I play it? Oh, this is not intended, this delay. It should be tight on the on the beat. Like of course you can uh uh, uh, re uh edit in place, events events apart. There you go, you put the snap function and you move it. Yes, enlarge, and you move it. That's a, that's an option, but that's not what you want to do. I show you. First, I'm gonna put this back, like it was. I show you where it is. When you go to studio, to the studio setup. They found in the audio system adjust for record latency. And you see the record shift is here on minus 4000 samples. Well, that's the annoying one. So when we try it out, 2000, 2000 samples. Let's see what happens. I named this 4000 samples uh, minus for thousand samples. samples. Okay, now we're gonna record a new one. There we go. Okay, and do some normalizing and see what's happening. Uh, maybe we go. That's my my own voice. But you can see this is much better. It's still not there. So you m might say, okay, this is m probably zero. Okay, let's try. This is 4000, this is 2000, well, maybe this on the timing is zero. Oh, let's check. I put this to zero. Okay. Record it again. Well, as you can see, it's getting better. But it's still not there. You see, this is still a shift. Yeah, that's not good. We still have to change that. And this is called uh, zero samples. Okay, then maybe we will want to go in the plus. Where's my cursor? Here's my cursor. Go to studio, studio setup. Latency shift. 1000 samples. There we go. Uh, 
it looks almost good. But when I zoom in, you can see it's too much. It's, it's moved in front of the the uh, of the, in front of the beat. So one thousand is too much. I'll rename this one thousand samples. So you can see it's it's getting better, but it's now too much. 4,000, 2,000, 0, um, 1,000. So minus 4,000. So it should be between the 0 and the 1,000. So maybe we're going to want to try 500. 500 samples. And probably in your case it's different because your uh, uh, sound card is different or your whatever. So probably you might have found it already. <laughs> Gonna record it again. I can see immediately immediately that it's not good yet, but it's getting better. You can see it's still in front uh past it. Let me see. Let's see. Now zoom in. Oh, this is too much again. So this is not good. But you can see the difference. And I in, in my case I know the answer because I have prepared this of course. Uh my answer is six hundred seventy five. And then it goes a little bit like this. Normalize I have I'm zoomed in a lot, so that's there you go. You see? It's all spotless on the on the count. So this is my uh this is my uh um this is my uh, number of samples that I need for my latency. So hopefully, hopefully you have uh, something on this information. Um, I just noticed this with the latest uh, version of Cubase, with the latest update. So 11 Pro point two, probably. And I have not seen this before, so bear with me. But um, I hope you. Uh, figure it out now for yourself. Have a great uh, day or evening and uh, see you next time on another tutorial. Bye bye. P.S. If you want to know more about me or my music project Energy, find me on the internet on www.nrg-music.com. Bye bye.